G'day viewers, I'm Annie. Welcome to my Gold Nugget Detecting Channel. This video is about how to find gold in New South Wales using a program called MinView. The video is a step-by-step -step instruction to help you navigate your way around it. Also, if you haven't already, check out my video on how to find gold in New South Wales State Forests and how to go about getting a permit to do so. I'll put the links to uh, any information and research that I do in the about section or the description section of this video. Cheers. So MinView is designed to work on um, all browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer and also work on operating systems like Microsoft Windows and Apple. It's also designed to operate on all desktops, laptop and tablet devices. The only drawback is it can't operate on devices where the screens are less than 10 inches. First up, do a Google search on MinView and it will come up under the geoscience.newsouthwales.gov.au website. Access to data is free on MinView. If you scroll down the front page there too you'll see a link to uh, the MinView user guide if you need to use this. Of um, MinView's key database references we'll mainly concentrate on exploration and mining titles, title administration, reserves and parks and some infrastructure as well as uh, geology maps and mineral occurrences. MinView also have a frequently asked questions area and they're a reminder that if you load too many layers it will slow the reloads down. Next step is to launch MinView. A image screen of New South Wales will then appear and in the right hand side you have the opportunity to log in or register. The bonus of being a registered user is that you can save your customised map views. Registered users are also able to bookmark their favourites and share their maps. The tools icon is where you go to download data and to print. There are a number of map view options. The one I use the most is New South Wales base map and satellite imagery. In the GPS box at the top of the screen if you tap on that it will change the format. I prefer to use the base map at least at the start. On the left hand side of the screen there is a search option and in this case I've searched for Stewart Town. Stewart Town is located near Lake Burundong between Wellington and Orange. On the left side of the screen you have the option to add layers. Scroll down this list till you come to Fossicking and click on the little V and expand the menu. You will note that the screen image on the far right changes as I go through the various options for crown land, state forest, minerals and the like. To remove any of those layers just click on the little red X. For a fuller map viewing screen tap on the little icon to remove the layer section to the left. This screenshot shows metallic minerals and you'll notice they come up in various colours. If you click on the layer metallic minerals, up will come a legend. Tap or click on any of these pyramid shaped icons to get further information. Where information is available, a box will come up denoting a report. There is also a toolbar to scroll across on this information box. Click on the report box and further information will come up and you can scroll through that. This information box will tell you things like what sort of commodity, whether the operation status has ceased and a general description of the area as well as some geological information. Now I'll show you how to only have gold as the mineral in your selection. Go to the layer section and select mineral resources group 1 metallic minerals. In the drop down menu 
click on the X to remove all and then on the plus to include just gold. If you're looking for state forests in the area, ensure you have added the state forest layer. In the layers, if you tap on state forests, it gives you the option to remove. There is another way to find state forest reserves and national parks to refine your searches. Go to the layers and add layers and scroll down until you come across the option for reserves, parks and forests. Infrastructure like roads, railways, homesteads, electricity lines and gas pipelines help you locate where you are on maps. To add these, go to layers and scroll down to infrastructure and utilities and make your selection. These type of maps can be taken offline and used with the GPS. We'll move on now to how to find exploration and mining leases. Go to add layers and in the list you will find the exploration and mining titles. To see exploration leases, add mineral exploration licenses in the drop down menu. I remove the layer before next going to the drop down menu and adding mineral mining leases. Similar to previous instructions, if you tap or click on the mining lease, up will come an information box showing a report. If you click on the report, then a further information box appears. To share or save any of your data, you must have logged in or registered at the commencement of the session. To share data, click on the share icon at the top of the right hand side of the screen. Then click on copy to clipboard. Once this is done, the link will be highlighted and you can copy and paste to any email. For those of you who are interested in geology, there are also available views. Go to add view. A list of options will come up and apply seamless geology. If not already in the options, I add roads and rivers. The map automatically loads with New South Wales surface geology and provides a list of options. Just a note of caution here, don't tap on remove all as this will remove all layer selections you have added. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out on the geology map. By tapping or clicking on features on the geology map, information, if it's available, will come up in a box. Earlier in the video, I had information that showed a group of host rocks at a particular area that I was interested in. Those host rocks shown were Cenozoic Sedimentary Province Geology. So I apply this layer from one of the list of options on the left hand side. A legend is also available if you tap or click on the icon beside it. Well that concludes this video. By now you should be able to navigate your way around MinView. If you enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.